Peace and love, peace and love. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> so let's talk about why you are into stepping, right? <clears throat> so what is your purpose? What is your reasoning for being involved in Stepper's community, right? So first thing, the Mollies, right? So my grandmother, my cousins, aunts, all them, they used to bop, jitterbug. My grandmother and her twin, it's funny how we talk about man on man, right? My grandmother and her twin used to dance together all the time, woman on woman, jitterbug, bopping, two-step, however you want to call it. Back then it was more jitterbug and more bop formulated, right? So, this is gonna give a little, my personal history with watching my grandmother and them do it, right? So, here's something that's significantly, significantly different. When my grandmother and them used to bop jitterbug, they would be kind of all over the place, right? Wouldn't really know direction. It just was get out there, dance, have fun, right? So if you put a lot of people in a room together, that made it difficult. People was bumping into one another. Even though they was having fun, they didn't really care. They still was bumping into one another, right? So that would, in this modern day time, create a problem. So as that changed slowly over the years, and I watched it go from that to what it is now, stepping, the progression of that, to me, just became more uh, organized dancing to a certain degree, right? Which means that slowly they progressed out of hopping around and bouncing around, jitterbugging, bopping, head and shoulders and everything moving all the time to more of a smooth type of dance. Now, again, I preface this in one of my other details. Everybody know there's a difference in skating and stepping from west side, north side to south side. Everybody in Chicago know that. I'm gonna act like it ain't, that's on you. I'm not on here trying to Profess to know everything about something that was before my time. But I will say this. Everybody is not as observant as everybody else. And I'm very observant. And all the way from dressing, dressing up, there's a difference from west side, north side, south side. West side, more plaid stripes, Loud colors, south side, more plain, you could say dull, earth tone colors. North side, more of eclectic, um, kind of intermixed between the two. Everybody know that's how Chicago is. Come on, man, let's stop, right? So, when we come to the dance, you have all these different styles or what have you. But hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's what makes our community great, right? So fast forward to now. Now everything is more in a straight line so that we all can be on the floor at the same time. We can all be mindful of the other people that are around us and in what we're doing. The dance to me now is smoother also. Now, you can have some people like, oh, no, it was smoother. You know, it's a preference. All of everything that everybody says is up for interpretation, period. Ain't no rule book. Ain't nothing set in stone. It's all up for interpretation. I don't care who you is, how old you are. Somebody 
Well, you might have thought you was cold. Somebody else might have thought you were. Point blank period. One contest don't make you be the coldest. Twelve contests don't make you be the coldest. Right? There's always somebody out there better. Ain't no difference then. People saying LeBron James the GOAT, Michael Jordan the GOAT. It's all an opinion. None of that matters to me as long as we bringing new people to the dance and enjoying one another and having a good time. That being said, right back to what I was referring to. So, what are you here for? Are you here to enjoy the dance? You coming out to get some exercise? Are you coming out to socialize? Or are you coming out to be in somebody else's business? Right? Are you coming out to be in somebody else's business? Okay? One or the other. Which one is it? Right? So, we should be out here always engaging new people to enjoy what we do and what we love to do. That's not happening. Right? We come out to stand out. And that's not everybody, right? But that's a majority as far as I look at it. They come out to stand out. It's not about the other people. It's not about the dance. It's not about helping new people. It's about, let me use this as an opportunity to uplift myself, right? So there's always ways to do things, right? But that being said again, my sole purpose is to bring new people to the dance. And since I'm in Atlanta, my purpose is to raise the bar and the level of dancing here and bring as many people out as possible because here's another topic that's not discussed often enough, right? If no new people come into this dance because the majority of the people want to hold on to it, uh, when the old folks die off, who's gonna be left? Huh? Who gonna keep on, who gonna keep the dance going? Right? Who gonna do that? Right? So, we need to keep that in mind, right? You know, if you're out here dancing, and you telling people no, and, and don't get me wrong, again, I've said this before, it's your option, right? But if you don't want to be bothered with a few people in your immediate, I don't want to say click, but a few people you know, then <clears throat> don't expect to get those accolades, right? Right? You want to be the man you run around here telling people no because they ain't on your level. You want to be the woman, you got your nose sound up when a guy come to ask you because you done saw them dance name on your level. Hey, it's five minutes. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what that does for a person and how that motivates them. It's five minutes out of your time. And your time is precious, but it's five minutes to uplift somebody else. It ain't always about you. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> so, help grow the dance. Again, what are you in this for? This all personal, and it can be. But don't be looking for somebody to tell you how good you are, or somebody to support your event, or somebody to just uplift you when you don't do the same. Right? That's real talk. Everybody want to be the man. Say like LeBron James said. <clears throat> Everybody want the accolades without the responsibility. Right? So, again, what are you out here on the scene for? Right? You out here just to find out who doing what and with whom and how? Or why does it matter to you? You see what I'm saying? 
new newcomers to the dance, right? I always explain this to the newcomers. You gotta have some thick skin when you come out here on this scene because unfortunately, as it goes, everybody ain't out here <coughs> trying to uplift one another. They are not. So that being said again, you need to be aware of that. You need to have some understanding about that, right? Make sure you know, hey, everybody ain't in your corner. <clears throat> they not. So get what you need from whoever you need it with and move on. Grasp a few things here and there and keep it moving. Keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Get what you can from whomever you can. Take it in, like my dad said, with a grain of salt. And keep on moving, right? Because I'm here to uplift the community. I don't need no accolades. Never needed no accolades. Some of these people are, it's the only thing they have. And I don't knock them. It's the only thing they have. It's the only thing that they've ever been good at to a certain degree and have gotten some appreciation. So they look at it differently. They don't want to lose it. They don't want to step back. They don't want to give back. They want to hold on as long as they can because it's a new experience, right? So you have to understand that as adults out here and say, hey, you meet these people where they at. I'm only coming out here to dance, have a good time, socialize, going about my business. Because if you, one of the other people, bruh, ladies, it ain't gonna look good for you over a long period of time. It ain't. I've been out here 25 plus years, bruh. Seen a lot of comings and goings. Learned a lot, experienced a lot. Ain't no, ain't no set in stone answers for none of this. It's trial and error, or use examples that's already been set in front of you. Okay? So again, just a couple words, you know, to share with the new people and with those who have already been out here, right? And as you can see, I'm getting my workout on, I'm on treadmill, uh, about 14 miles in, riding on gear 15 as a regular gear. I'm gonna keep it moving. So peace and love to everybody. Have a wonderful day. Much love and success to everybody. Don't forget like, share, and subscribe. The details. This is the details. Season two, episode three. Season two, episode three. More details to come. Don't forget about Fade to Black, October 20th through the 23rd. Atlantis, Atlantic Station. Fade to Black, October 20th through the 23rd. Peace and love, people. I'm in here by myself getting it in. Peace and love. Well, I am now. I wasn't at first, but I am now. My, my partner gave out on me. And left me in here by myself today. My guys are gone. They headed out the door. Peace and love, everybody.